For 113 years, one brand has defined what it takes to be an outdoorsman. Field and stream. Many people consider themselves outdoorsmen. To call yourself a total outdoorsman, you need to master a wide range of disciplines. On the water, in the woods, come rain or shine. Only a select few can make such a claim, and only one can say, I am the best. Hey, go, 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 go. Oh yeah, baby. For the past nine months, hundreds of the country's top anglers and hunters have been vying for a chance at glory and $25,000. 16 competitors, seven challenges, one champion. The 2008 Field and Stream Total Outdoorsman Challenge, now. The 2008 Field and Stream Total Outdoorsman Challenge, presented by Mobile One. Hey, welcome back to the 2008 Field and Stream Total Outdoorsman Challenge, presented by Mobile One. We're here in Lampy, Missouri at the gorgeous Dogwood Canyon, site of this year's Bare Knuckle Quest to find out who is the most competent all-round outdoorsman on the planet. There are seven total challenges to test these outdoorsmen, and today we have two more great challenges, the 22 rifle and fly fishing. I'm Courtney Hansen, along with Eddie Nickens, editor-at-large and resident total outdoorsman for Field and Stream. Things have gone off to a pretty incredible start, wouldn't you say? Have they ever, Courtney? Each of our competitors has only completed one event. That means everyone is still in the running. We kicked off the challenge at Seven Mule Pass. The contest, shotguns, and fast clay targets. Let's take a look and see how they did. Peter Mosby took a strong lead with an almost perfect score of 38. Scott Marson climbed to the number two spot, and Paul Thompson and Matt Stadina tied for third. Now for the scoring. Each winner in each discipline gets one point. The second place finisher, two, and so on. And the competitor with the lowest score walks away as the field and stream total outdoorsman. First up today, the 22 shooting competition. Now I've been working with Colin Kearns for years. He's a senior editor at Field and Stream Magazine and he's the perfect guy to give us the shot by shot action. But earlier, he had a chance to walk through the course at Seven Mule Pass. I'm in Dogwood Canyon's beautiful rolling hills where we've set up our rifle range. Each competitor will get 15 shots at 15 different targets from three positions at distances ranging from 25 to 55 yards away. Each station has five targets, four clay and one paper. The clay targets are each worth five points, but the paper target has a point scale. The closer to the bullseye, the more points you score. With just 15 shots for 15 targets, that means every single shot counts. Well, that seems pretty straightforward to me, Eddie. Do you have anything to add to it? Well, this course is tough under the best of conditions, but if it starts raining, all bets are off. Well, Colin is standing by at the rifle range for the first round of competitors. Earlier this morning, we saw Bill Moses get blown away by Corey Yarmouth, who scored a 60 to Bill's 27. Both of these guys were struggling to see the targets through a light rain, so I'm sure that was a factor. We also saw Brian Kramer come out ahead of Scott Richland, 48 to 46. And Tim Gajewski eked out a one point victory over Dan Powell, shooting 62 to Dan's 61. Up now are Daniel Lee Martin and Tom Cooprider. I've been waiting for this one all morning. These are two very strong competitors and this one could really go either way. Let's watch. Right here, uh, to the right, we've got Thomas Cooprider. He was actually uh, finishing the top three in the TOC finals last year, so he got an automatic bid to this year's finals. Um, right here, we've got Daniel Lee Martin, and he is absolutely one of the favorites in this competition. He's an extremely skilled rifle shooter. Good start, Daniel. Right off the bat, both guys just obliterated their targets. Nice shot. They're both perfect so far, two for two on clays. <laughs> We've got ourselves a showdown now. Each hit their first three clay targets. Oof. Daniel Lee just hit the bullseye there. Looks like Coop hit about a 
seven or an eight on that. Great first round for both competitors, but it looks like Daniel Lee has a slight edge over Tom. Let's get to know a bit more about Daniel Lee Martin. My name is Daniel Lee Martin, and I am a country artist based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Do I have any nicknames? <laughs> well, a couple guys gave me d bag today, but I don't think we can air that. Hey, did anybody bring any toilet paper? It's funny, I, I feel like I have more of a natural ability to the things that have to do with outdoors, hunting and fishing, than I do with music. I've really had to work hard at my music and my career. And coming out here today and practicing like we did, uh, it just feels like second nature to me. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? What is driving me to win this thing? Oh, well, it's actually my wife. She says she's going to leave me if I don't win it. She's beautiful and I'm scared to death to lose her so. No. <laughs> I mean, I've been in sports my entire life as a, as a kid in baseball and football and basketball and all the above. So I've always been competitive by nature. I'm number one. They are number two to number 16, baby. Boom! Now both competitors are reloading for the second station where they're going to be shooting the kneeling position at 40 yards. Daniel Lee's two clay targets already on the second station. Make that three, he is on a roll. He's just dropping these things. He's in a really good position to post a good score here, and he was one of the top finishers in the shotgun competition. So he's got the potential to build a really comfortable high score. We have to take a quick break, but keep your seat. We have more from the rifle range, and coming up, we're gonna have some action at the creeks of Dogwood Canyon. We'll see you right after this word from Mobile One. Hi, I'm NASCAR driver Ryan Newman. With Mobile One as my associate sponsor, I drive the number 12 car in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. As a brand long associated with the sports enthusiast, Mobile One, the official motor oil of NASCAR, is proud to team with Field & Stream to sponsor this year's Total Outdoorsman Challenge. As you can see, when I'm not at the track, I love to spend my free time outdoors, hitting legs for anything that'll bite. Thanks for watching the Field & Stream Total Outdoorsman Challenge. For Mobile One Racing, I'm Ryan Newman. Until next time.